or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love it if you consider subscribing. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps push the video in the algorithm. So thank you so much in advance for giving it a thumbs up. Okay, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be decorating my kitchen for Easter 2023 and, um, and then spring as well because when Easter's done, like I said, I'll just leave the spring things out and just pluck the Easter. So it's a really easy way to decorate and not wear yourself out. <laughs> okay, so let's hop on in and let's start decorating. Okay, I've cleaned everything off my countertops um, that I don't normally always keep out and I'm just going to be switching some things out for Easter. And I always keep this out with my oil and vinegar. It's very handy right there at the stove. So what I want to put next to that is I want to add this adorable little Ray Dunn um, bunny that just says jelly beans. You can fill it with something. I'm not going to be filling it with anything, but I want it. I want to set it right here just to give that sweet little nod to Easter. And I love that. I think that is so cute. Now, I also have these little plant sitters that I picked up at Target's Dollar Spot. And I thought it might be fun to kind of like snug him right here like he's crawling up on there. <laughs> I'll let you see him better in a minute, but that is cute. Okay, next I'm going in with this, this little hand towel. I've had these, you know, this year I hauled those really beautiful, colorful um, bunny ones, but I forgot that I picked these up last year at Hobby Lobby on a deep clearance after Easter, and I wanted to use these, so I'm gonna try to remember next year that I have some that I can use next year. But I'm just gonna put this right here. I'm loving the neutral decor with just a few pops of collar. And I'll let you see this a little bit better in a minute. Okay, I think you'll be able to see a little bit better this angle, okay? So, I normally keep this out. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. I love it. It had a little top that came with it. It's really a canister. But I wanted to just put it um, as a utensil holder. So, what I'm going to do is I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. I love it. And I'm just going to put it back on top of this little candle holder. Put my utensils in here. And I love how that looks. It looks, it's a fresh look. It's very neutral, but I think it still looks really pretty for Easter or spring. Okay, next I'm going in with one of these Walmart little um, vases. And I just have, once again, those Cosmos in the two different color mix with this greenery from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna plop that down in there and just set it right there. And I love how it picks up the colors that I have already got. But I love how the texture, the ribbing here, the wood, um, and I'm really enjoying black in my decor. I never thought that I would do that, but it does make it look so upscale. And then with the little touches of green and the flowers, it all is playing together very nicely. And I forgot to add something here. This little bunny that I picked up at Hobby Lobby last year, I just wanna nestle it right in there. And I like how that chippy brown plays off all the brown that I've got going on. And it has a nod to Easter. Okay, I normally keep this setting here all the time. I pick this up off Amazon, love it. And these little spoons I got off of Amazon. Now I'm going to add these little eggs, they're faux eggs. Um, these came from Target's Dollar Spot, they're wooden. These came from at home, they're the little speckled ones like I did 
the decoupage eggs with. So I'm just gonna set this right here to give it a little bit of a nod to Easter and it's in the kitchen. And I love that, it's so farmhouse, so French country. Okay, I keep my little rooster that I got off at Hobby Lobby and I got this fromage sign at TJ Maxx quite a while ago. Many of you will remember me hauling that. And then I just have this little apothecary jar here. I just love it. But what I want to do is add this that I picked up at Kirkland's this year. This really pretty like bowl filler. It just has apples, limes, oranges. Um, they look like bay leaves and other little things. Oh, they smell good. I wish you could smell this. Look how pretty, such a beautiful presentation. And if you had it open where you could smell it, oh my gosh. So I'm just going to nestle that right like that. I think that is absolutely lovely. I think this is such a soft touch to spring and I can leave this out even I would say into fall if I wanted to. Okay, next I'm going in with the other bunny tea towel and I'm gonna put it right here on my dishwasher. I love that bunny tea towel. He looks so, the neutral decor, it goes very nicely with my rugs that I bought off of Amazon a long time ago. I'll link everything that I can find in the description box below. Now we're gonna work right here. All right, here I decided that I wanted to do a little DIY with the bunnies from Target's Dollar Spot. I like the gold bunnies, but I really wanted to put everything black for my kitchen this year and then we're gonna add some white wax. Okay, now my bunnies are dry and I just used a flat matte uh, black spray paint. And like I said, I'm loving adding black to my decor and I thought where I'm gonna put these that they would really pop. So I decided to use some Waverly white wax on top to just tone down a lot of that black. I didn't really want it that black, but I just wanted to sort of highlight it and I really love how it turned out. I think the white wax is adding much more depth and interest to the bunnies and um, I think they're looking much more expensive. I like the gold. I was on the fence what to do, but I really am glad that I did this. Okay, next we're gonna work on this. Picked it up at Hobby Lobby. I really do enjoy it, this. Okay, so I'm gonna move him out. And what I want to do, I picked this up at Michael's, probably in February, and this I think is worth the money. 
maybe January I picked it up, but I think this is precious. Okay. And then this is where our little our little bunnies that we DIY are gonna come in. I just wanna nestle this down in here. Like they're just sort of resting in all that beautiful apple blossoms. And I really like them a lot better since I Use that, uh, the black spray paint and the white wax. I think it gives them a more upscale look. Okay. Okay, it's almost impossible to film this. So I've got everything closed. This is about as good as it's going to get. I picked this He Is Risen sign up last year at Hobby Lobby. And then those are two of my DIY, um, little herbs or plants that I made. I think they're really cute for spring. Next, we're gonna go over there. Okay, I have this. I made this. I think it's precious. I'm just gonna pop it right there to brighten that area up for spring Easter. Okay, I keep these cutting boards here all the time. And what I want to do is add this little white cutting board I picked up at Target's Dollar Spot years ago for $5. It has an itty bitty little rabbit and it'll just add a little bit of light to the area. Plus, once again, Easter. Okay, next I'm going in with this. I picked this up at Target. It's just a natural teak pedestal. It's threshold, it was $20. And I'm going to elevate this lamp right here on it. It helps hide the outlet, which I hate. <laughs> it's really hard to film in this corner. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see. I don't know. It's almost impossible. Okay, next I'm going in with this buddy. I picked him up at TJ Maxx last year. He was... $14.99. I wanted to find another one, but I didn't see any more this year. I'm gonna snug him in right in here with all this greenery. And then, you know, I'm Cosmos crazy, okay? So I thought it would be fun to stick some of this down in there to make it look like he was just sort of out in this luscious little area. <laughs> then I'm going in with these larger carrots from Walmart because he has to have his carrots. He just has to. He's worked so hard to find the perfect carrots. So there they are. And then I'm going back in with these decoupage eggs that I did. They're just the uh, foam eggs with decoupage. And I'm just gonna add them right in here just to kind of add some interest. Okay, he has his carrots and his eggs, and he is set in his little world. Okay, now let's go to my server and we'll decorate it really simple. Candles that I picked up off of Amazon, I love them. I think you get a set of nine or so. They have a remote. Um, they come with two remotes actually. Like I said, I'll link everything. Now here's where the other two bunnies that I spray painted and put the white wax on is coming in. Okay, I wanted them to play off of this black candle holder and I love them, but I didn't want them solid black. That's why I added the white wax. And that's all I'm gonna do to this. Now let's take a look at everything.
Well, that is how I'm having my kitchen decorated for Easter 2023 with some lovely spring touches. Um, I really do love how it turned out. It's hard for me to pick a corner that I like the best. I always like my rooster, though. That's really pretty, but I love that. So, And then I love the bunny and that. Like I said, let me know in the description box which corner is your favorite. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So, I will see you on Wednesday. I'm not sure what yet, but we will do something very interesting, I'm sure. So, let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby, and she was knocked out on the couch. Were you sleeping? She says, yes, I was. Are you having a good day? She says, yes, I am. She said, I have to go get my routine checkup on, I think it's March 29th. She gets her rabies update and a booster and say, I won't like that. <laughs> so, until next time, bye guys.